Right, we've got Kenny Bean here, post-match after our fantastic FA Cup second preliminary round game against a decent Horsham Premier side. And I think we gave a good account of ourselves this afternoon. Your thoughts on that, Kenny? Yeah, I thought we was really good today. I thought uh, Horsham are a really good side. I thought we matched them in every department. And I, I thought we could have won the game, to be honest. But, you know, they, they, they're a good team and they were resilient. So. It was a good game. Do you think that we didn't have our cutting edge up top today, which might have won us the game? Because we had great opportunities by far more than Horsham. Yeah, I felt like a uh, small margin, you know, Gus saw it the crossbar, and we've had a few, just missed the post, Dan Hector's shot I thought was in, but just went past the post. But another day they fly in. And our new lonely goalkeeper from Arsenal, who had, uh, I think, a good debut, looked quite assured. He's a big presence in goal. Does, as a player, does that give you confidence when you've got someone that big and strong in, in front of goal? Yeah, massively. And they, I know he's a young boy, but he's got a good character. You can hear him behind you. Uh, he come for a few crosses. That was was nice as a back as a back in the corners and that. You know, when he come in and take the, take the pressure off, he's really good. And listen, we're leading on. We're still in the hat on Monday when the draw is somewhere around lunchtime, I suspect. You know, does it help you as a player when that draw is announced and it's? good, bad or different, does that help motivate you even more in the replay? Yeah, sometimes when you get a, a so-called bigger club, it, you know, you want to get into the next round and on the other hand, when you get a so-called lesser team, you think it's an opportunity where you can go one more stage further. So, it, yeah, you do keep an eye on that. I have to say, Horsham really got their tactics right today. They really shut us down from the front. But I think, as you hinted earlier when I spoke to you off camera, the fact that you can only do that for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Then you get worn out, the legs go. Yeah. Uh, do you think that we, uh, you know, they, they run out of gas a little bit? Yeah, they did. They made a couple of changes towards the end as well, so it showed that they were, their players were feeling it as well. So was we, to be fair, but I feel like the way that we play, we are a ball playing team, and shutting the ball playing team down is sometimes harder than being on the ball. So, yeah, I, I felt later on in the game, we was getting little pockets and getting out and uh, creating a few bit on the back three. Didn't quite happen for us today, but listen, I really hope that all the Leverett fans will get down to the World Camping Stadium down in Horsham on uh, Tuesday evening, 7.45 kickoff. Really want as many of you down there. You can see that Horsham are going to have a big following there, and, and the 12th man really helps, yeah, correct? Definitely. We get them down there to help us on Tuesday night. Just to added extra to that, our ladies are playing tomorrow at two o'clock kickoff here at the Grove against such a Yule little derby for them. And last but not least, our FA under 18s are playing in the FA youth game here on Thursday night at the Grove, 745 kickoff against Ash United. So all Leverett fans, please come and support the lads in our replay on Tuesday night and we'll see you there.